So today is another completely crappy day while I wait for my doctors to get their shit together and give me the medication that makes my life bearable. Um, but I thought I would make a video anyway to try and cheer myself up. Um, I, I warn you this is probably going to be quite incoherent and quite because I am on lots of horrible prescribed medications that I hate right now so this might be a bit bleh. But anyway, I thought I would make a video about one of my favourite subjects um, and also a video that I promised you ages ago and it hasn't happened so I thought I would make a video about my favourite, my favourite bee pals um, because obviously the Halloween collection has come out, I think it came out last week um, and I ordered things from it. I ordered four bottles, which was quite good. Like, I mean, the Halloween collection is huge and it's so exciting and there's so much you generally want from it that it's like, ah, it's really quite difficult to whittle it down to something you can afford. Um, but fortunately, the collections, the big collections they've done this year, one of them is dead leaves. So there's all these things based on a dead leaf note and I hate the dead leaf note. So that was good. That saved me some money. Um, and instead of doing a pumpkin patch, because usually they do all these pumpkin scents, they've done apple scents this year. And again, I don't like particularly don't particularly like the smell of apples in perfume. So that was good. That saved me lots of money. But I've got four bottles coming from the Bee Power Halloween lot, and I have been like obsessively stalking the Trading Post because the Trading Post Halloween collection. Oh my God! There's a massive wasp outside my window. Oh, you're so big and scary. So big and scary. Um, so yes, yeah, so the Trading Post, the Trading Post um, Halloween is, I've been stalking and stalking and stalking and they haven't landed yet, but I'm really, really strongly hoping that it might be tomorrow because I know it's like the guy's been ill, so it's been postponed, but I'm hoping tomorrow they will land and I will go mental and spend every penny I have on that stuff because that's going to be all the, the linen sprays and the hair gloss and the bath oil and all of that cool stuff that I love, that I've only recently discovered, so this I'm still really excited about and I so much love the stuff I got from the last Halloween collection, so really, really, really excited for that. So as soon, like I literally, recently I've had the Trading Post window open on my computer perpetually and every few hours I'll like refresh it, it's like, come on, come on, please, please Halloweenies, please. So hopefully in a month, assuming that my doctors get their shit together and everything becomes bearable and I'm still wandering around the planet, in another month, which which would be nice, um, there will be a, a massive, over-enthusiastic review of all the Bee Bow Halloweenies, which is exciting. Um, but in the meantime, yeah, this is going to be my favourite Bee Pals. I thought I would narrow it down purely to the perfume oil, because I did go into the kind of the hair glosses and stuff in the previous Bee Pal video. And as I say, the, when the Halloween stuff comes up, I will buy so much more of that shit that there will be lots of talking about that. So also to keep this like vaguely brief, which probably means like half an hour long, um, yeah, just the perfume oil, because my current Bee Power collection, I've finally tidied it all up and put it all together, more or less all of it, the bath oils I've kept in the bathroom, kind of logically, but everything else is in a desk. I will put up a picture of my bloated, enormous, ridiculous Bee Power collection that gives me so much joy. Um, it is, there's a lot of it. I mean, I've been buying Bee Power for like a decade now, so at this point it's, it's a pretty big collection. Um, but actually today, when I was picking out the things that I really, really love and trying to avoid most of the things I've talked about before, um, and the things that I'm likely to talk about when kind of the Halloween ones and the winter ones come out, I actually narrowed it down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bottles. So only eight bottles to talk about, so this shouldn't take too long probably. Um, so I think the one I will start with is, is the one that I'm wearing today because this is like just one of the most happy making scents for me. It's a really, really weird scent. Um, I will put up little pictures of the bottle art because I don't think my camera will focus on them very well and some of them have got quite pretty art on them. So this one is from the Neil Gaiman collection, the Coraline lot. It's the one called Mouse Circus um, and I bought it because one of the listed notes was cotton candy and I really, really, really love cotton candy and perfumes and you don't get that many cotton candy bee pals coming out. So I bought it for that but weirdly I, I get no cotton candy from this whatsoever but I really don't care because... I love it anyway, I really, really love it. Like to me, it smells like kind of nutty, caramelized, buttered, salty popcorn, which is a weird thing to smell of. Like I would never wear this to go out anywhere because I wouldn't want to go clubbing smelling like, 
you know, like a movie theatre food stand, but I wear this so much at home because it's, it's just such a happy smell, like it's just... It's just such a kind of happy childhood memory smell, which I suppose is quite apt with it being kind of the Coraline collection. That like I don't I don't really look back on my childhood particularly fondly. I think one of the reasons I don't like children is that I don't remember enjoying being a child. That the whole thing was was generally awful. Um, but you know, one one quite good memory is is going to the cinema as a kid. You know, and it's like a big exciting outing when you're little and you get all this amazing food. And I think I've mentioned this before, but when I would go to the cinema as a kid, I would get so sucked into what was happening in the film that when I came out of the movie theatre, I consciously had to remember how to speak in my own accent and I had to remember who I was and who my family were and how to behave in reality because I would get so absorbed in the film. So I suppose that's probably why it's, it's a happy childhood memory for me in that it, it wasn't it wasn't being me, it was being completely absorbed into into a different reality. So I don't know, this just smells like happy, exciting childhood outings to the cinema. And I really, really love it. It's such a kind of such a happy, cheering, upping, comforting smell. So I really, 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 really love this. Um, so to move on to the next one to hand, I suppose another quite apt one is is the one that is my name, the one that is Dorian, um, which is based on Dorian Gray. So obviously, for multiple reasons, I had to buy this perfume, and I'm very, very glad that I love it. Um, I think it's one of the most kind of perfectly gender neutral scents that they do. That it's got this really lovely tea note with sort of a little bit of musk and kind of almost a tiny bit of lavender. I generally don't like lavender, but it's it's not like old lady pillowcase lavender. It's kind of, it's just sexy. It's just soft, sexy vanilla tea. Yeah, I think that's the main note. It's supposed to be like sugared vanilla tea. Um, and I tend to find when I first put it on, it's almost slightly like Earl Grey tea, but then it dries down and it's this like incredibly soft, fluffy, sexy, vanilla -y musk thing. And it's really, really, really gender neutral. I love that it's like completely balanced between boy smell and girl smell. And I think it's, it's so kind of close to the inspiration that it's, you know, it does smell like sort of elegant Dorian Gray, who's very sexy and very elegant, but also quite sort of evil and debauched underneath it all. I really, really love that one. Um, so the next one, oh my God, this is gonna get messy. Where do we, what, what should I do next? Um, so the next one, oh, the next one is one of the Halloween ones. They bring this one out every single Halloween, I believe. Like, I think there would be a massive uprising. There would be like a peasant uprising if, if they skipped this one on Halloween because it's like the most seminal Halloween one they do. And it's the one called Samhain. I will put up two bottle arts because I've got two versions of this. Like every year it comes out, it's got different bottle art. Um, and I, this is like, if I, I was going to say, if you're getting into Beep Out and you're looking for just one sexy, dark, evil, gothy, sexy smell, go for Samhain. It's, it's the only one you need if you're looking for that. It's, it's just the most autumnal and sexy and dark smell ever. It's all kind of like bonfire smoke and a tiny hint of apple. But as I said, I don't really like apple, but I like it in this. Um, and sort of crunchy dead leaves and cold wind and it, it just smells, it smells like spooky Halloween. It's like Halloween night with kind of bonfire smoke and mischief and spooky supernatural shit going on. That's what it smells like. And I love this one. And on my skin, this lasts ages. Like this is one of the rare perfumes I can put on. And like when I get up the next morning, it will still be on me. And it's, it's, it just gets sexier and sexier the longer it's on you. It's one of the ones that when I wear it, I just think, why do I, why do I not wear this every single day? This is gorgeous. So I kind of, if I go out wearing my long hair extensions and trying to feel like a, like a sexy evil thing, sexy evil thing, that's what I, that's the smell. That's the smell of being a sexy evil thing. So Samhain is amazing and actually, this version is um, last year's version because my previous one was from 2006, 2007. So actually, I mean, I because of the fact that I have so many bee pals, because I'm a complete hoarder with bee pals and I like to have millions of different scents, 
Um, I get through bottles very, very slowly because I don't wear them every day. I kind of alternate. Um, so, you know, so my previous bottle of Samhain lasted me years and years and years. Um, and it was only last year that I had to buy a new one. And I really, really love last year's incarnation because I don't know, like, obviously different batches because of the fact that BPAL stuff is so natural. It's all kind of like natural essential oils and stuff. Obviously, there's going to be some variation in that, you know, like if you eat blueberries, some of them are sweeter, some of them are sharper. So anything that's natural in origin, there's going to be slight fluctuations in how it smells. So you do find there's often like a little bit of difference between batches, but also bee power ages very nicely. And you do find that a lot of scents kind of soften down and kind of change and usually get better with age. Um, so I don't know kind of what the case is with the slight difference between the two batches I have, but I actually, I really, really, really love last year's version. It's just a bit sharper and smokier and I really, really love it. So this one, I love, this one comes out every autumn and I wear it pretty much all the time in autumn. It is, it is the seminal autumn spooky Halloween smell and you can bet your ass this is what I will be wearing on Halloween. Assuming I'm well enough to go out on Halloween, this is what I will be wearing. Um, so I guess to move on to another one of the Halloween blends, this is one of the oldest bottles I own. I will put up a little thing. This bottle, it, I actually only bought it in the last few months. It hasn't been mine all the time, but I don't know if you can see in the picture, but it's a cobalt bottle. It's like blue um, because they switched from blue bottles to brown ones around about 2005, I think. Um, and this this is like a really, really, really vintage bottle. I do not know what year this is from, but it's the one called Trick or Treat. And I don't, they don't seem to bring out Trick or Treat every year. I don't know whether it's a completely abandoned scent or whether it comes out on occasional Halloweens, but I really hope it comes back one day because I only have this one bottle and it's absolutely, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's supposed to be the smell of candy corn, which is a scent description that never appealed to me because I was just like, well, that's a bit lame. That's just kind of sweet and sticky and quite basic. But because it's Bee Pow, as usual, they do so much more with it and it's completely amazing. And I've been wearing this so much recently and I think I will continue to be wearing more and more and more of it as the year becomes more Halloween-y. Um, that it is really recognisable as the smell of candy corn, but there's also all this kind of, I don't know, like brown sugar and spice, and it's just sexy and spicy, but sweet and candied as well. And it's, I, it just, it smells so Halloween-y, it's amazing. Um, you know, and I, th I think particularly for Americans who actually eat candy corn every year, like I haven't had candy corn in years because it, it doesn't really exist here and I can't eat it anymore because of the colourings. Um, so I think if you're someone who actually eats candy corn every year, this is going to be like such a kind of Halloween-y smell. Um, I do love it. I really, really love it. I am at some point going to have to find out whether whether there are other years of this, because obviously this being a blue bottle from, I would guess, around 2004, I'm probably never going to come across another exact one of these, but if there's ever been another year of Trick or Treat, I need to get it because I love this. It's, I don't know, it's kind of like you've got like the night and day version with, with like Trick or Treat being the kind of happy, sticky, comforting, foody side of Halloween and then Samhain being like the dark, spooky, evil, mysterious nighttime version. So I, I just love the Halloween collection so much. I cannot wait for them to come. It's, it's like the highlight of Halloween for me is getting the Bee Pal stuff. Um, so I guess moving on to my other favourite sexy, dark and evil scent is the one called Voodoo. Um, and this bottle is really quite old and I'm finding with Voodoo that it does need aging because I bought a backup bottle recently and it smelled completely, completely different. Like this, when you first smell it in the bottle, is like really quite sharp and quite strong. Um, and it's, it's almost unpleasant in the bottle. It's almost like sharp and strong and unpleasant in the bottle. But when you put it on and it dries down, it becomes this amazing amazing like vanilla evil vanilla lime musky sex thing it's just the longer I have it on the more gorgeous it gets and I just find myself compulsively sniffing myself like a weirdo like a weirdo all night voodoo is 
just the most sexy. I mean, it's it's quite feminine. I would say it's not like a particularly gender neutral one. Um, whereas Samhain, there is actually a similar to Samhain scent called Samhainophobia. Um, and that is kind of a more masculine take of Samhain, but I would say that Samhain is fairly, fairly gender neutral anyway, kind of feminine leaning gender neutral. Whereas Voodoo is definitely quite girly, but it's still like, it's not like girly, 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 frilly, girly. It's like dark, evil, sexy, female, dominatrix smell. <laughs> um, so I love Voodoo. Um, but what I've been doing with my new bottle, because as I say, the new bottle came and it smelled so different. It was so thin and watery and soft smelling. It doesn't have the kind of powerful punch that the age stuff has. So what I've been doing with the new bottle is I've left it out on my dresser over there because obviously I keep, you really want to keep beep out in the dark, like sunlight is not particularly good for it. So you keep it in the dark. Um, but if you want it to age quicker, like giving it a bit of sunlight can be good. I mean, I wouldn't say put it in direct sunlight, but just keep it out so it's going to get some daylight. Um, so my new bottle of Voodoo has been sitting on that shelf for probably about five months now and it's already the scent is kind of thickening and getting stronger and darker and closer to this. So yeah, I would say Voodoo, don't write it off immediately because yeah, when you get it fresh, it's not that impressive. You want to just abandon it for a while and then when you come back, you will be blown away. It is so 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 sexy i love this stuff it's amazing like i do feel i do feel that the hole in my collection at the moment is dark evil sexy smells that i have so many foodie smells i have so many comforting foodie smells i have quite a lot of kind of wintry smells i have actually quite a lot of kind of gender neutral masculine smells now but i don't have that many on the kind of sexy powerful feminine smells side um, and that's something I would like to extend upon, so any other BPAL fans, if you've got suggestions for that, I would like to hear them, because yeah, I've got Samhain, I've got Voodoo, I've got Opium Poppy, um, I've got a couple of little imps of Romantigoth, which, oh god, I love it so much, I bought a whole bottle from someone recently, I mean, it's like so hard to track down Romantigoth, but I tracked down a bottle, but it hasn't come yet and I'm wondering what's going on with this person and I'm gonna have to email them and I'm really 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 hoping they're not gonna let me down because I so want the bottle of it, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous, it's the most amazing like opium, opium smell and when I wrote the short story about the opium addicted vampire I wore that perfume like every day that I was writing it because it's such a kind of opium smoke smell and I love it and I please 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 send me my bottle of romantic off please I can't live without it please um so yeah so to move on I have mentioned this scent in the previous video but I'm going to mention it again because it is my favorite bee pal of all time I mean it's very hard to choose just one of all time favorite but it has to be this one Hand of Glory, um, which as I say I mentioned before and this one again I feel like it needs aging because when I got this bottle I hated it and it sat in my sales pile for about fucking six years or something. I was trying to sell this bottle because I didn't like it and then I, I re-sniffed it you know six years after buying it and I was like shit this is the most amazing thing I've ever smelled in my life. Um, but I think it's because there's beeswax in it and I do find this with beeswax scents that beeswax is probably my favourite note ever um, but when you get it fresh it tends to be a bit lame it really needs a few years to kind of develop um, but Hand of Glory is, is what I wear if I go out in boy mode Hand of Glory is pretty much what I always wear it's, oh, it's just so gorgeous it's just so smoky and beeswaxy and leathery and I think there's like black pepper in there as well it's just this smoky sexy dry leather beeswax gorgeous thing um because the inspiration is the whole hand of glory thing where it's like a desiccated corpse's hand with the fingers on fire so it's got like the dry leather of like desiccated skin it's got the beeswax of the burning candles and the smoke and it's gorgeous it's so 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 sexy and I absolutely love it and whenever I put this on I'm just like yes this is my favorite ever um the only sad thing is that it doesn't last that long on my skin but I did recently I don't know what I've done with them but recently I ordered from Pilot Vials who are really good if you want little decanting vials for BPAL 
I ordered a load of tiny little um, rollable vials and some pipettes so I'm gonna decant a tiny amount of this into one of those so I can carry it around with me because of the fact that this is gold dust right now this is like really really difficult to find because it's a carnival diabolique scent so it's not been available since 2008 um, so I, I do not dare take this bottle out with me clubbing or anything because if I dropped it or anything it would be I would be heartbroken but if I put it in a little a little decant then I can carry it around and I can top it up and I can smell gorgeous all night um, but yes obviously I think as, I, as I've mentioned in the previous video Carnival Diabolique um, oh, that's that's the that's the original card for Carnival Diabolique when it came out last time um, and the carnival has returned this year after almost a decade it started to come back we've only got the opening act so far but hopefully the whole body of it will come fairly soon and I have got all my fingers and toes crossed that they bring back Hand of Glory and that it's not been too badly reformulated because a lot of the carnival scents obviously it's been a decade so Beth has been reformulating a lot of them and some of them I'm loving the reformulations of but I know a lot of people are like really unhappy with the fact that you know their beloved perfume has come back but it's different so god I hope it comes back and I hope it's just as good as it always was because I love this scent I did manage to snag a backup bottle like I was so lucky to find a backup bottle about a year ago so I do have a bottle and a half of it at the moment which is great so I can actually wear this fairly frequently because you know when I had half a bottle and I didn't think I would ever get any more it was like I could only wear it on really special occasions whereas now I can wear it pretty much when I like and I just please please be pal bring back Hand of Glory make it smoky and sexy again please um so to move on to my final two picks one of them is another one that I've discovered recently this one came from the last year's Lilith collection because the creator of Beeper has a little daughter called Lilith and on Lilith bleh, I can't speak on on Lilith's birthday every year she brings out a whole collection of scents kind of inspired by their memories together which is like really really sweet um and this one I got last year it's called very pink surprise cake and I I don't know why I love this scent so much because it's it's like the most non-goth scent you can possibly imagine like it really it smells so pink it is the pinkest fluffiest scent in the world like to me it really smells like strawberry nesquik you know the like the nesquik strawberry milkshake powder it smells just like that but when it dries down there's this whole squishy spongy cake undertone to it um and i just i absolutely adore it it's another scent that like never fails to cheer me up it's just such a kind of happy carefree fluffy scent um because I did used to be a big fan of eat me which is the general catalog scent which is really cakey it's like white cake and I did used to love eat me but since I've got this like I never wear eat me anymore because this is cake but like pink cake pink fluffy gorgeous sugary cake and I love this and I I think I managed to get a backup bottle of it I hope I did because I love this stuff I mean it's weird like last year was the first Lilith the uh, I really can't say this girl's name the first Lilith collection I saw really was last year because usually I only focus on the Halloween and Christmas releases um and when I first saw the Lilith ones because they were all kind of childhood inspired and as I say I'm not I don't really get on with childhood memories I my first thoughts were no these all these all smell like kiddie smells I don't I don't fancy any of them but I think I, I ended up buying at least two or three of them in the end and absolutely loving all of them so this year when the the the, 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 the when it, when they came out <laughs> when they came out this year I people are doing decant circles on the Facebook group I will link the Facebook um sales madness group below because it's really really useful and there is somebody who does a thing called Deeks decants and they do little little kind of imp sized decants of bottles but they also do half bottles as well which is perfect because I I get paranoid about decants I'm like if I get it and I like it then what if it comes too late and everything has you know already been shut down and I can't get a whole bottle Whereas I feel like if I get half a bottle, that's that's enough to be comfortable. So I've ordered two half bottles of the new Lilith scents, and I think they're going to be awesome because they are they are like quite. 
quite kind of kiddie ones. They do have lots of like foodie, sweet, happy notes. And I, I do love foodie scents. I really, really do. Like I don't wear them to go out that often because you know, if I'm going to go out, I want to feel all sexy and powerful. I don't want to feel like a big fat cake. Um, but I, I love wearing foodie scents when I'm at home. I find them so comforting and lovely. So I love, I love the Lilith ones now that I've discovered them because they do, they fulfill my need for cakey smells. Um, and the final one I picked out is a bottle from 2012, which I did not buy in 2012. I only bought in the last year because strawberry, since um, since I got Very Pink Surprise Cake and I love, discovered, oh, I like the smell of strawberries, um, I found out there's an old release called Strawberry Moon. Um, there's been a few versions of this and I've tried a couple of the versions and I would say that this one, the 2012 one, is the best. Um, and this, this, I wore this so much over summer, it's such a gorgeous summery smell that it really is like natural strawberry, it's not like artificial strawberry, it's like getting some slightly tart strawberries and just when you cut them open and sprinkle them with sugar and it smells just like that and there's kind of a little background of sort of greenery, like a little bit of kind of grass and dandelion in the background so it's this really like outdoorsy strawberry patch scent um, and I just find it such a kind of like happy, fresh, summery scent that I really, really, really love it and I need to wear it more. I've kind of put this away for a while since summer stopped being summer, but I need to wear it more because it's gorgeous. Um, so I guess, I guess that is, that is the end of my, my favourite picks for today. I mean, it's like my, my choosing of Beep Out is, is like deeply schizophrenic, you know, like what I feel like wearing one week like completely changes so there may well be more sense that I kind of when I put these scents back I'm gonna be like oh my god why didn't I get those ones out those ones are amazing too and actually I'm already beginning to kick myself because yeah the vampires the vampire sense the vampires don't sleep alone sense I've got some of those and those those are amazing too I should have mentioned those but this video is already crazy long so let's not do that maybe there will be a second part of this of other other awesome Bee Pal scents, but I am so excited for the Halloween ones. I'm really, really, really hoping that the Trading Post ones come out tomorrow so I can just lose my shit, buy everything, make myself bankrupt and have something awesome to look forward to um, in the midst of all this really depressing med clusterfuck that's going on with my doctors. It would be nice to have something to look forward to. Um, so yeah, so I love, I love my Bee Pal and I hope I mean, I do apologise for the fact that I think um, all but two of these <laughs> are actually limited edition. Um, Dorian and Mouse Circus are currently available. Obviously, Sowin is currently available. So three of these you can buy online right now. Um, but the other ones are limited edition. I apologise. I think most people find this with big BPAL collectors because there are so many limited edition scents, you do find that most of your collection is limited edition. So it is quite hard to recommend things that are easy to get hold of. Um, but yeah, those are my favourite ones. And if you haven't tried Beep Out, I hope you do. And if you have tried Beep Out, please feel free to leave me recommendations. Now you know the things that I love. Um, and yes, I'm hoping, I'm hoping in about a month there will be a really, really over-enthusiastic review of, of the Halloween ones from the Trading Post and from BPAL. Um, and also Coco Pink as well, who have nothing to do with BPAL. But while we're on the subject of things that smell nice, Coco Pink, fuck! They've brought out their autumn and winter smells and oh my god, like, I just, I couldn't even, like, I just literally lost my shit. I was just like, well, uh, ah, there's too many. Such a big scent list. I mean, I... <laughs> I ordered, god I don't know how many I ordered, I think I ordered six little tubs of body butter and one tub of big body butter and um, and actually Coco Pink it's so reasonably priced that I could do that and I could afford it which is crazy good um, but then the next night when I was just feeling a bit miserable I I do like internet shopping cheers me up so I went back to the Coco Pink website and I went through the whole list of autumn and winter scents and I made a list and I ended up with 17 new scents that I want to try which obviously I'm gonna have to whittle down a bit before I make my next order because I, I can't 17 that's crazy 
Um, but oh my god, the Coco Pink ones sound so good. So hopefully, hopefully in about a month there's going to be so much exciting smelly things coming through the door for me. And I can't wait. So anyway, I'm going to shut up now and go away. I hope this wasn't as waffly and boring as it might have been. Um, yeah, I'm going away now. Bye bye. <laughs>